So I want to know, going back to last year, what did you think about the A's big trades at the deadline at the time, and what do you think about them now? Wow. Well, now they're definitely struggling. I think they're in last place in their division. They're probably going to start dumping off players. Uh, trend line last year, I think, I don't know if they try to better their team that much or because the team got worse, it seemed like. So um, if it's not working at the point in time, you make trades, and hopefully something works out. Hopefully you get some better players. Hopefully you get some uh, great trades in there. And uh, you start winning, but um, they definitely have not done well this year. You think there's a chance they turn it around this season, or would you suggest they rebuild immediately? Oh, well, they're so far behind them and struggling so much in really, you know, pitch and defense offense. I think they're going to have to start rebuilding again. I think, you know, organizations start rebuilding every seven, eight, nine, ten years anyways. And they've had a pretty good run. They've had some scrappy players. And, of course, you know, you know the way Billy Bean picks these players with, you know, high on base percentage, walks and so forth, high batting averages. But uh, it doesn't work all the time. Now, you've been a very vocal uh, spokesperson about PED use in baseball. So I'm curious, how do you think Major League Baseball is handling Alex Rodriguez, and how do you think he's being treated by the fans, fairly or unfairly? Well, Major League Baseball on a whole is handling it great. I don't think anyone you know, up to date today should be using PEDs because of, of the uh, testing and the penalties are so great. So you would have to be a knucklehead to really start using PEDs today, especially with these incredible $100 million contracts they are they're giving out. Um, I, I think the fans have been fair with Alex Rodriguez. You know, he came on, really didn't know what he was going to do. He's, I think, uh, 40 years old and uh, had hip replacement surgery, so we really didn't know physically what he was going to do. And uh, he's, he's done quite well. I know now he's probably strictly maybe as a DH role, maybe playing some first base. But uh, he can definitely help, help out the New York Yankees, and the New York Yankees have been doing uh, surprisingly well. How do you think the Hall of Fame should handle suspected PED users like Bonds, Clemens, Bonds especially with the relevance in this market? It's real simple. You either let everyone in who has the numbers, who qualifies, that use PEDs, or you don't let anyone in. I know that uh, there's been some Hall of Fame playing players that have used PEDs in the actual past, and Major League Baseball actually knows about it. It's strange because some players that have were tested positive are in the Hall of Fame, and some players that have some type of suspicion and were never tested positive were not caught are not being inducted to the Hall of Fame. So that's one thing I think Major League Baseball has to get right. Do you think Bonds has a chance to win his collusion lawsuit against baseball considering he still arguably had some playing years left but didn't get signed? I don't know about his collusion. The reason being um, didn't get signed but he was what 42 years old already. I mean I, I was out of the game at 37 years old. So uh, he had a very long long career. Uh, longevity was on his side. He did play for 20 some odd years. Uh, you know, the, the best left-hand power hitter that baseball's ever seen. But uh, I don't think, I mean, if he was out of the game at 35 years old, uh, he may have a chance. But since he was already in his early 40s, I don't think he has a chance.